सो हेलो देर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हर शेयर बैक विथ एट अनदर इजी टूटोरियल एट रोबोटेक एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मेक एंड रिमूव फोल्डर्स यूजिंग द टर्मिनल ऑफ द रासबेरी पैड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ आई विल बी यूजिंग द वी एन सी व्यूअर टू हेडलेसली बूट इन टू माई रासबेरी पाई आई हैव ऑलरेडी चेक द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ माई रासबेरी पाई यूजिंग द a uh, thing that we have the angry ip scanner and stuff like that so i'll just use that and then directly headlessly boot into it so as you can see i am onto my screen and here let us just ignore this warning and i'll open up the terminal without wasting time and just maximize it so here we are the terminal is full screen now and let us look at the first command of the day that is mkdir that is make directory so what is a directory so folders in windows directories in linux i am just creating an analogy here just ignore that basically directories and folders are the same thing you all can call it anything as we all know so basically the same thing so mkdir make directory the first command to make folders so let us see mkdir and the name of the folder so i will be naming it robotech and let's not name it robotech let's name it something else say harsh or something like that because robotech becomes too long to type every time so just remember that uh, so just you all can just name it something short if you are going to open that folder using the terminal repeatedly so mkdir harsh that is make a directory called harsh and this directory will be created in the current folder that we are in and if you all don't know how to check the current folder you all will be able to see it over here i am highlighting it on my screen as you all can see currently we are in the tilde directory as you all can see so the tilde directory is the slash home slash py directory and this directory is the directory with which the terminal opens by default so we are in the slash home slash py directory here we are telling the raspberry pi to make a directory called harsh so let us hit on enter as you all can see the folder was created and to check that we will use the ls command this lists all the files folders documents everything that is there in the current location on the terminal it just gives us like names and all that stuff so like let's just do ls so the folder is indicated by the blue color as you all can see text files and other such files are represented by white color and uh, certain files like uh, the uh, cell script files are by green and some installation files are with red color so you all can just check that the color code is always available if you all have the different types of files available in the folder so if, if you do ls it will be all listed like this like uh, you all can see on my screen so as you all can see over here harsh is there and there is also fold, folder called harsh now over here that is that we, because we have created it over here so now let us use the cd command cd stands for change directory so we'll change our directory to the harsh folder so in the tilde directory we are telling it to go to the harsh folder by telling it to change the directory using the cd command so cd harsh as you all can see now we are in tilde directory and under the tilde directory we are in the harsh folder so now here there is nothing i'll do ls as you all can see there is nothing empty it is so now let us over, uh, create a file over here something like that so we can deal with a error that is a common error that does not allow us to remove the folder that contain files inside them so we are not allowed to remove those folders so let us see for first encountering that error i will create a file so let us me let me create a file you all can see how to create and edit files i leave a i link in the description uh, i link over here in the top right corner and also in the description as we know the links will be there available both on how to edit and uh, create the files in using the terminal of the rpi so cat command i'll be using the cat command i'll name the file anything i want harsh.txt and then i will uh, yes my bad to create a file i have to uh, first create a file i have to hit a greater than sign that i forgot then enter the uh, content of the file harsh.txt let's hit on enter so this was the content then control c so this is saved now let us read the file so cat harsh Uh, my bad h was not capital harsh.txt let's hit on enter so as you can see harsh.txt contains harsh.txt that we typed right over here so now this is done so let us again change directory so now there are two types of folders so basically one is the parent directory and under the parent directory we have the sub directory or the child directory so like parent directory is currently the uh, tilde directory that is slash home slash py 
and under that parent directory we have a subsidiary that is the hirsch directory that we created so now to go back to the parent directory we will do cd space dot dot or uh, the two full stops we can say so this will take us back to the one step back parent directory if you have three or more like this uh, there is a flow entire like in the tilde you have another folder inside that another folder so you all can do cd dot space dot dot as many times you want to go go up the uh, parent directory so one directory every time you do cd space dot dot one directory will move ahead so that's that so then let us do cd space dot dot so as you all can see i'm back to the tilde directory that right here so now if i try to remove the directory this is the second important command of the day is rmdir so remove the directory and now if we name give the name of the directory and if i hit on enter we will get an error because there is a file inside this uh, directory that we created and let's see so as you all can see rmdir failed to remove hirsch because the directory is not empty so this is the most common error that the beginners encounter because they are not accustomed on how to use the uh, thing so let us see on how to resolve this error so we have to do rmdir and if it's an empty folder let me give you an example this robotech folder that i had was empty so rmdir robotech if i do it will be easily removed because there was no content in the robotech so if you have an empty folder you all can directly use the rmdir command to remove it so now let us see on how to remove a folder with the content inside so rmdir uh, rm to remove the folder so rm space dash rf we are inserting two flags to remove the entire folder forcefully with all the contents inside it so rm dash rf name of the folder hit on enter it is removed if i do ls you will neither have robotech over here nor hirsch so we have successfully removed as well as created the files i mean folders so uh, let us also see how to remove the files if we have something i will just create a file quickly so again let us do uh, touch i won't have to enter any uh, content inside if it uh, it if i use touch so just touch touch i mean harsh.txt and let's hit on enter so this file is created if i do ls as well can see harsh.txt as i had told text files are with white color so it's white then let us see how to remove this harsh.txt file so rm easy it is harsh.txt there it's gone if you do ls here there is no harsh.txt so i hope guys you understood on how to make folders remove folders remove folders with content inside them and also remove the files these are the four steps and if, remember if while creating the directory you are using the sudo command that is the you are becoming the super user while creating the folder you will have to use the sudo command to remove it so sudo mkdir then sudo rmdir and if there is content so sudo rm dash rf so remember if you are using sudo one at one place then everywhere should have sudo because then the permission will be denied because the folder was created by the a super user and it has to be removed by the super user so remember if you are going to do sudo in make directory then ensure that you enter the same sudo in the rm directory so thank you guys don't forget to like share subscribe and hit on the bell icon for more such interesting videos thank you